We now discuss question number 10 from exercise 2.3. We have been given matrix A with elements 3, 1, minus 1, 2. And we have to prove that A square minus 5A plus 7I is a zero matrix. Now here I is the identity matrix of second order. And here O is the zero matrix or the null matrix. So before we prove this, we first obtain A square. So A square is nothing but matrix A multiplied by itself. That is A times A. So we have 3, 1, minus 1, 2 times 3, 1, minus 1, 2. Now we multiply the corresponding rows and columns. So R1, C1, if we multiply, we get 9 minus 1. R1, C2, if we multiply, we get 3 plus 2. Then R2, C1 will be minus 3, minus 2. R2, C2 will be minus 1, plus 4. So we obtain A square as 8, 5, minus 5 and 3. So we have obtained A square and now we move to the left hand side. So left hand side is A square minus 5A plus 7I. We just replace the values here. So A square is 8, 5, minus 5, 3. Minus 5 times A, A is 3, 1, minus 1, 2, plus 7I, I, that is identity matrix, so it is 1, 0, 0, 1. Now we perform the scalar multiplication, that is we multiply 5 with each of these elements and multiply 7 with each of these elements. So first matrix remains as it is, that is 8, 5, minus 5, 3. We multiply each element by 5, we get 15, then 5. Then this would be minus 5 and this product would be 10. And here we multiply each element by 7. So we have 7, 0, 0, 7. See 7, 0, 0, 7. Now we add the corresponding elements. Add and subtract the corresponding elements. So we subtract the elements of the first two matrices and we add the corresponding elements of the third matrix. So we perform the subtraction and addition together. So 8, so finally what we get is 8 minus 15 plus 7, the first term. Next would be 5 minus 5 plus 0. So we have 5 minus 5 plus 0, that is the second term. Then minus 5, this would be plus 5 plus 0. So minus 5 plus 5 plus 0. And then 3 minus 10 plus 7. So 3 minus 10 plus 7. Now this is 15 minus 15, that is 0. 5 minus 5 plus 0, that will be 0. Minus 5 plus 5 plus 0 is 0. This would be 10 minus 10, that is 0. So we have obtained the 0 matrix, which is equal to the right hand side. Hence, we could say the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos. Thank you.